Boy, oh boy, have we got a treat for you guys. And by you guys, I mean us. <laughs> and no, we're not gonna talk about the truck yet. But we will. But we will, don't worry, it's coming. We've agreed to do a video on it. We'll do it. Like two months ago. Two months ago. <laughs> Don't get too relaxed, there's still work to do today. I know, we're just getting started on all the work. Before we jump into this, I do want to say for those who are loyal followers, I kind of made a spontaneous decision to purchase a pocket knife locally. That does not mean I'm disregarding all of your recommendations. I have most of them bookmarked. So thank you for taking the time to share. Y'all are some knife connoisseurs. <laughs> and I was really happy to find that our local outdoor store actually stocks a lot of those brands. Not all the models, but brands. Um, I just need a knife like right now, and I don't have time to sit and look at all these features. So, I paid way too much for this knife. Probably double what yeah. you would pay online. But, I have to say that there's always something to be said for buying local. I think someone once said, why does buying local mean paying more? <laughs> just kind of seems to be how it is. I purchased a Kershaw Clash. It is a Kershaw Clash. Mm. And it is an assisted open pocket knife. Ooh. It's a little bit bigger than I really wanted, but I looked at some of the bucks and most of the stuff they had there was auto open, which I wasn't a fan of. Of my options, the Kershaw, which is actually what we buried against the wall, <laughs> was the best option. What I really wanted in a knife was a thumb close, so I can close this with one hand. I don't have to have two hands. I don't know how about you guys, but every two seconds. I hate taking my gloves off and doing all this stuff. And the assisted open has a fantastic groove I'm sure there's a technical name, but my brain's not working at the moment, but it is grooved on the assisted open. And so I can easily open this even with gloves on. And the same thing with the uh, safety close mechanism. So I bit the bullet. We're gonna give it a try. I went and got it because it's been in the box for 24 hours and I've needed and it like five times. And we're doing an unboxing, times. Like, duh. So, that said, I'm still going to look at some of the other recommendations. I found some pretty cool recommendations among your favorites, and I'll take a look at those eventually. On to this heavy item. So the other day, we milled up the posts for our steel beam in the garage. This video is in the future. Disclosure. Oh, snap. In the future, we will mill up posts for the steel beam for our garage. <laughs> and when we went to pick up the logs to do that, I said to myself, this is stupid. We took the very first log that we ever fell on this property and turned it into the posts that are now in our garage. Moving those two logs, first of all, it took me a little getting used to with the backhoe because I haven't really used the backhoe for that much. And so it's pretty ugly. When you see the video, you're all gonna laugh at me. But by the second log, I kind of had a system figured out where I could negotiate the logs. What became brutally clear to me in those couple of days was, if we're gonna move 60 to 70 logs, we're not doing it that way. So I went immediately and started trying to find a grapple. And we did just that. And based on the label on the side, it's really a giant set of tongs. Scooch to your left. See, a tong claw. <laughs> so I found this recommended in a saw milling group that I'm a part of on Facebook for big logs. So this one is a 36 inch set of tongs and it's rated at 3,300 pounds, which I don't think that we will need to lift logs heavier than that, or at least I hope we don't. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, it was like meant for a backhoe because it's yellow. It is yellow. I don't fully understand why they put this minuscule amount of packaging on there. It seems ridiculous. I was a little worried when I took it out of the box because this set of tongs, they showed a bunch of different photos and in one of the photos they showed this two inch receiver hitch. And when I pull it out of the box, I didn't see this eye. <laughs> and I'm like, really? So I was annoyed because I was thinking that they sent the wrong one or something. But the good news is it has a two inch receiver hitch. So what you can do is back up to your in-laws and 
on the pickup <laughs> and just go like crazy, right? And don't stop. Hey, That's my parents are gonna watch this video. Oh, this is a 36 inch opening. Let's measure it. 39 inches. I bet 36 is probably the max. It has a two inch receiver with pin. And I think that's primarily for things like a three inch, or excuse me, a three point hitch, or for a skid steer or things like that. I think that's the primary purpose of that. But if you've got a two inch receiver, you can use it. It also comes with an eye, which is the primary way that we'll probably end up using this. We'll hang it from the backhoe knuckle and lift from it, but you could do it from the bucket on the front too. I guess anything you can put a chain through, you know, you should easily be able to lift from. That's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> the end. Oh, where did I get it? So I actually looked on Amazon and they do have Roughneck brand grapples, but they didn't have this size. And I wanted something pretty big because from what we understand, most of the logs coming to us could be in the 24 to 25 inch range. And I didn't want to get something that was like a 26 inch tongue and I can't lift it. So I went kind of probably a lot bigger than I really needed to do. Is it heavy? Yes. I'm pretty sure I'll speak on behalf of our viewers. They'd really rather you just try it out. I think so too. I do want to make a quick comment. So this would be borderline two years ago. Alyssa and I dropped a couple of, or a pine tree, and we used that tree to make some of our decking for our hot tub deck. If you haven't seen those videos, check them out. And moving those logs was insanely hard, and they were a whopping eight feet long <laughs> yeah and we're like holy smoke so when we have when we got the wood miser a neighbor generously gave us a larch tree that was still standing very healthy tree but it was in the way it needed to be removed that tree was so heavy that a 24 foot length in the butt i could not pull with our truck and i thought if we plan on sawmilling, we're either gonna break our legs or we're gonna have to tool up to do it. And then not long after that, we decided to invest in a backhoe, which was a fantastic decision for many reasons. So, okay, fine, let's see how it works. Nope. Do you have to jump it? Yep. Even though the battery disconnect switch was on and mm, off? It was off. Okay. There is still a phantom load on this stinking backhoe and it's driving me absolutely mad. But that's a different video. been fired. You've been rehired. Nice thing about being self-employed. We can hire and fire each other 15 times a day. And we still cuddle at night. And we still cuddle at night.
definitely need to take the bucket off. Okay. That's what definitely has to happen. Because we're, we're maxing out the boom, but it's not, a, it's not an issue of whether the, the grapple has the strength or not. That was like no sweat at all for the grapple. Took a couple of quick adjustments yep. to get it balanced. But yeah, it's gonna take me probably a few logs to get the backhoe part figured out. I don't like lifting to the side, but when I'm lifting in here, I have no more boom. That's a consistent problem with this backhoe though, because it has an over center design. So this is actually max on the boom, but that has nothing to do with the tongs. But as far as like getting the logs on the sawmill, this is awesome. That was no work for me either. Yeah, this is, I mean, it, I'm just having to like think about how I want to get it where I want it to go, but this thing can swivel 360 degrees with it in the air. So unlike straps and chains, I don't have to have it perfect, you yeah. know? So I'd say that went pretty stinking good. I mean, there's a learning curve to it and I'll probably find a sweet spot with the backhoe where I feel like I can lift and I'm not, I don't know, like that, yeah, that kind of felt kind of shaky, but. We'll get there. I think this is way better than trying to fish a chain underneath there and all this other stuff. Yep. I have a featured image idea. It may involve putting a neck in that. A neck? A neck. Oh uh, yeah. No, like for real. Like <laughs> we gotta like raise it up to make our featured image. Oh. <laughs> Silly Jesse thinks I'm kidding. If you want advice on starting your own YouTube channel, 80% of a video success comes down to title and image, but that's not an excuse to have a crappy video. And if your videos suck, you might get a couple viral videos and no one will watch anything else that you publish. That's million dollar advice right there. That's the formula. Everybody always wants to know, like, how do you do it? That's the formula. Well, we're not gonna give you the whole formula, but True. that's like a nugget. That's one small piece. It's enough to get you off the ground. This is such a terrible idea. <laughs> this is scary. Do you wanna reverse rolls to see whose image is better? <laughs> Roll reversal, let's do it. <laughs> Wait, we got the, we need the back of the background. That's pretty good. Now bring it down or closer oh. to your neck. That's pretty good. You're totally taking the cake. <laughs> That's pretty good. Whee. <laughs> That's it for this video. Ah, chomp, want, chomp, chomp. I want logs. <laughs> Feed me logs. French braids. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't gonna pick up the beams when we're done because it'll poke big holes in the beams. So um, we're yeah. gonna have to use some straps and stuff to pick those That's up. That's probably what that padding is for that is included in the box. Oh, that like millimeter of foam? That was yeah. cute. That was really adorbs. On that note, Log grapple. we have some videos to be caught up on, probably yeah. about 12 days worth, but we are days away from beginning the milling fest. And we're gonna yeah. mill our little hearts out until what, October 29th? Which probably. is the day. <laughs> we're, we're hoping to be done early for those folks who are registered for the timber framing workshop. We do actually intend to be done early, but there is that chance that... <laughs> but don't fret, it will happen. Yeah. Whatever it takes. It, so, it'll happen. Yeah, it's gonna be a wild ride. Wait, the video's not over. One more thing, encore, encore. I forgot a couple of things. One, I know people are gonna ask, why don't we have a thumb on the backhoe? And the simple answer is, a thumb is not a simple answer. Uh, the other thing is, I don't like using thumbs for this kind of thing. Uh, the folks at Woodmiser told me the number one reason they replace bed sections on these sawmills is because people drop logs on them. And I think a thumb is just way too easy to drop logs. We did that with the excavator. It's too, too hairy. Um, the other thing was cost. Uh, this set of tongs, I think was like a run 190, uh, including shipping. Um, this I got from Northern Tool because they had the 36 inch uh, tongs, but I think Amazon has others. I'll try to get Alyssa maybe to track those down and link to them in the description below. Um, I like this over a thumb because the harder you pull, the harder it grips. That makes me happy. Instead of like, whoops, I hit the thumb, 
because I believe one of these bed sections is 800 bucks. And I think the third question people are gonna ask is, can you fabricate your own? I would say yes. If you're a fabricator, this you would be do that. <laughs> very easy to fabricate. You should do that. I'm not a fabricator. I don't have a welder. I don't have time. You prioritize your time. <laughs> so right now, 189 bucks and we're lifting logs. But that doesn't mean that someday I won't fart around with these types of things just for fun. But I've got about 30 years before I've got gray hair and I got nothing else to do with my time. So anyway, those are probably some things that people are gonna ask. Okay, for real, for real, video's done. All right, back to work.